Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're gonna be up against uh, Johnic Top uh, Tactic and Otachi. Now, um, yeah, oh wow, Imboy, 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 mm. Noob Crab. Alright, so yes, um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Without further ado, let's go jump straight into this 2 versus 2 video. Now the map, or the random choice of map for 2v2 will be Silk Road, so we're going to have to try and zoom out. And uh, we started the game right here. Okay, we're going to have to collect the containers, and some of the riflemen was obviously very smart. Okay, yeah, very smart riflemen there. Okay, so... Two armadillos at the start, a wasp and a dragonfly, and uh, I'll be saving some of my uh, riflemen right here to somewhat soak up the attack or yeah, just build up the attack right here. Now, my partner right here informed me that he will not be taking the super container, so I will no longer produce more units here, and the initial units that I produce will be everything that I will have. Uh, in addition, I built a sniper tower because I'm already expecting an attack coming from the blue player. And I'll be using this wasp right here to scout. Okay. Now my partner opted out for a fast level 2 research facility. As you guys can see, he literally rushed it. Okay. And so, we're going to have to scout right here and see how Otachi is doing. Okay. Now, I'll produce more dragonflies here in my end. Additional supply center. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Already level 3 HQ. He's producing a mole. And I, on the other hand, am just trying to develop my base into having level 3 vehicle factory. And so on. Okay. So, let's see how this goes. We're going to have to fast forward a bit here. I still have my wasp right there. Mole already came out with two jaguars and three jaguars and he's going right for the attack right here i don't know why that mole actually sieged up in there so there's already a cerberus right here uh-huh and i'm going to have to try and move my army to where he is attacking to otachi's base in order to destroy as many things as we can with this rush we also have the wasp going on in there now we see the uh, X facility, it's already level 2, servers already made a jump on that um, on that mole. Turrets has been deployed, there's only one turret here at the moment, they got like 3 dragonflies, plenty of stuff right there. And then I was scouted right here and I have my base defended by a jaguar, a porcupine and a dragonfly right there. X facility will successfully be destroyed thanks to our wasp and our combined attacks right there focused on the X facility. Now, we're going to have to try and take down this uh, vehicle factory. However, that one typhoon is firing at my um, wasp. Okay, Cerberus has been completely ignored. The mole is drilling that annoying vehicle factory. Seraphim already came out here from, from uh, the blue player trying to help out Otachi with the defense. Okay. Alright, mole again will be drilling that vehicle factory as it burned. There we go, softening up that building right there. Okay, so this has been a very, very successful attack with a few investment and took out a vehicle factory and also an X facility and forced the Seraphim to exhaust his passive and active ability instead of attacking our bases. I would say that's a very successful attack. Alright, so... His base development has been, uh, well, technically delayed. He can go HQ level 4, however, he cannot really go Solaris without a level 3 vehicle factory. So, his re his tech has been reset. Okay. So, my partner here has 3 Jaguars, 2 Porcupines, and more in production. A Wasp here has been reproduced. I, on my end, will go for a Mammoth, um, Jaguar, Dragonfly, Stop shenanigans right there, and I'm actually producing some units here to defend my base in case um, the blue player attacked me. I also built a gun tower for that purpose. Okay, so he's going to scout. Otachi Cerberus is also low on HP. Rocket tower, 
Wow. Okay. He's been forced to produce or build a rocket tower. That's absolutely nice. Okay, now. Going HQ level 4. Hiding some infantry around here. Also, a rocket tower from this guy right here. Okay. Building an anti-air. And, ooh. Wow, how did that stuff manage to get there? Alright, so Otachi is actually moving into attacking this side of the base of... Oh no, um, Chahine is also moving out to attack this base, this this side of the base of Otachi. Yeah, and this is to either force him to build the more defensive buildings at the back of his base, and also have the blue player snip out and defend him. Meanwhile, another super container appearing right there, I'm not gonna contest it. Serafima. Okay. Ooh, Solaris being produced. Okay. And then of course another Seraphim here from Otachi. He already got that level three um level two X facility going on right there. Oh. Okay, we got the Leviathan going on in there. Partner doing the same thing. Okay, he's going for that Leviathan, is already out. Chameleon Jaguar Porcupine shenanigans here. Was trying to annoy that Seraphima. And I'm building up the Dragonfly account here on my end to surprise both of them. Okay, so I got like plenty of Jaguars around here. Okay, and so here goes uh, Chahine with the attack with a Chameleon. Multiple Jaguars here. And he's trying to get rid of as many things as he can right here. Kablooey! Okay. Very solid buildings from Otachi. Of course, his wallet is thick. Okay. <clears throat> there it goes. Trying to get rid of those uh, stuff for Typhoons. Which is obviously a good idea. <clears throat> Alright. So... He actually managed to get rid of plenty of stuff right there, Typhoons, Cerberus, and damaging that Zeus. That's absolutely nice. And if he can take out those supply centers, that would be an additional icing on the cake. <clears throat> Chahine right here, carrying me around. There you go. Ooh, Serafima from the top of that cliff or mountain. Cerberus jump, destroying a chameleon. Completely normal for a uh, tier 1 hero to do that. There you go. Okay, so he's actually going to move further with the attack. With another chameleon just arriving here. Okay, a little bit of Zeus uh, activity in there. Level 3 facility. That Seraphim actually was very, very good against that Leviathan. As you guys can see right there. Although the um, porcupine here of uh, Chahine will now serve their purpose. Okay, and that Serafima managed to escape five porcupines, so yeah. Very good damage of the porcupines, definitely Imba. Damage is uh, imbalance. Okay, it's, good. it's going to have to try and get rid of that rocket tower. Oh man, another Seraphim here from the blue player. Ooh man, just like that, everything has been trashed. Okay. So, again, I'm just, you know, just chilling around here with maximum command points. I got, like, mammoths here, plenty of mammoths, plenty of jaguars, a bunch of porcupines, and a bunch of dragonflies at the back. Okay. And so, <clears throat> I'm going to have to start moving out here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have to start sieging there. Now, I'm going to have to try and scatter my unit around here to avoid any, uh... Solaris attack here or active ability being demolishing my entire army so we would like to avoid that kind of scenario now Tahine with the move of uh, destroying that X facility okay that was not really good skill activation in there oh my goodness we got an attack coming here as well okay that Cerberus will or that Seraphim will die and there's no shield activation going on here and so majority of the forces of this blue player has already been cleaned up and yeah Kablooey 
this is a class 3 salamander that I have going on in there okay and so there you go he clearly lacks the typhoon count for this okay and so I've dealt a huge chunk of damage out of that army while my uh, other forces around here are destroying whatever I can destroy and so on and so I'm gonna have to lay my hands on that X facility vertex from Otachi that's actually a clever way of uh, transitioning okay yep 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 there's just plenty of stuff here firing at my uh, leviathan as you guys can see right there okay we're gonna have to try and get rid of that uh solaris come on come on bra destroy it destroy it there you go very nice and so I did lose a chunk of my army or a bunch of my army at the exchange of multiple buildings here in an X facility as well as some of his units and uh, let's see how Chahine is doing here okay he's still attacking the uh, oh, Otachi okay will he be able to save no obviously not okay here we go we got this scary army of retaliation from the blue guy right here and so I'm going to have to use my Mammoths positioned at the very back of my base and then scatter my uh, Jaguars apart I still have my newly produced dragonflies around here to help out and there's clearly a lack of typhoons here There's only one typhoon that I can see going on in there and I have my mammoths uh, attacking the shield generator exposing them and that Solaris will absolutely be destroyed Okay, Wasp Acid Strike right there. None of the shield are activated, probably because of no energy. Because the she, I mean, the blue player had them activated all this time. Now, Vertex support here from Otachi. There you go, getting rid of my Wasp. Okay, he will suffer for that. That's not a good micro Zeus away from the shield generators. I'm gonna be completely fine with this. And uh, yeah, those shields were too late. He suffered greatly for that, and I mostly lost what? A few jaguars, <coughs> dragonflies. Um, nothing else. Bit of mammoth activity. <laughs> okay, so my partner here. Trying to somewhat assist me with the defense. However, I don't really need the help. Okay. And uh, Seraphim right here. Attacking that small um, squadron from Chahine. And now, I'm going to have to add up some spice to my attack here. Or to my composition. This map is fairly good and open. Alright. And quite small. Okay. And quite small. So, yep. I'll go in, I'm going to have to use the barracks here with the Grenadura. Okay, and I'm going to have to, again, split my attack into multiple stuff. Okay, I got like the, the porcupines around there. Partner moving his army in the middle side of the base. Scout right here. It's proving quite a bit dangerous right there. <clears throat> okay, non-stop dragonfly production here on my end. And here we see those uh, vertex trying to get rid of the army in the middle. However... That's not gonna happen. There's like a chameleon and plenty of stuff right there in the middle, like anti air. Blue player trying to obtain the middle, and then that Solaris will have to retreat. Obviously, we're gonna be outnumbered here due to the fact that this guy, the blue guy, has multiple factories going on in there, and that Leviathan will definitely fall. Okay, behold their power. Okay, and here we go. Here we go now with the attack. Okay, Chahine is now going to have to retreat. That Beholder is an absolute W. Uh, weakening that annoying uh, Leviathan. But now that uh, Beholder was poorly microed. Okay, so I got like plenty of stuff right around here going on. Okay, and uh, one of my Dragonfly decided to attack. And so here we go. We're going to have to try and push them back right there. He's not in proper formation. 
and my position is actually not that bad and here we go with the multiple engagement oh man it's dead okay here we go my dragonfly um, leviathan here is going headed straight at the back of the base meanwhile my main army will have to try and dispose as many things as I can right around here Seraphim from the CN player trying to move up here and help there you go huge chunk of damage out of those uh, units that's been uh, strike by the acid burn and here we go now mammoths at the back provided with the grenadura and here we go now they have not yet laid waste to my leviathan right around here okay uh-huh they now managed to get rid of it and so the army of Chahine will now try to intercept any help coming out of those uh, of the uh, sea player or Otachi right there so my dragonflies I actually move them at the back to attack and then we'll have to focus more on that annoying X facility which will go down along with a bunch of uh, Zeus right here that's no longer covered by the shield and here goes the Grenaduras we're gonna have to try and get rid of as many things and there goes those mammoths oh they're completely piled up will they be able to, will will he be activating skill no okay here we go now and so my mammoths will have to focus and that's the lars boom straight line annihilation however i don't really need those jaggers anymore for i have plenty of grenadiers on multiple side of his base there you go destroying the power plant destroying uh man and there you go mammoth to pick anything at the back there there you go my man and then all of a sudden things are not really looking good here for otachi his army is scrambling to assist his partner but obviously that's not gonna be he's not gonna make it he should have you know he should have attacked me earlier when i started the attack and there you go this blue guy will obviously be decimated um chahine with that offensive leviathan move two thors here coming out of otachi okay those shield are not activated such great micro from these confederation okay blue player trying to have his typhoons move over to his partner base uh beholder the ultra not micro beholder now the shield just activated super duper late man and the shield are like in front of the zeus wow such good gameplay well anyway he might actually be lagging guys <laughs> okay i think he is lagging because otachi doesn't play like that okay and so there you go majority of the forces of the cn or otachi will be laid waste and now those zeus they're only two oh man that Thor and then the X facility has been destroyed and there goes the uh, chunk of my army or an army from both me and Chahine if you look at the minimap right there in the top left hand corner it's all resistance red yellow and then there's this CM player and there you go positioning themselves putting this uh, player or this confederation here into oblivion there you go i think that's about it um there's not much really or there's not really that much you can do at this point <clears throat> now again if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe smash the like button ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel also do check out my previous videos as they contain tips tricks that can help you win a battle thank you so much for watching have yourself a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye! No, Chameleon! Look! Grenadura! Oh, Grenadura at around 27! Yay! Grenadura! Grenadura! Da 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 da! GG! Bye!